place big enough. Right, great. Hotspot Burger and Grill in New Haven in Sussex taking on their undefeated breakfast challenge. This thing is absolutely huge. It has got seven of everything. It's called the seven challenge. It's got seven sausages, seven hash browns, seven tomatoes, seven eggs, seven black pudding, seven bacon. It's got loads of beans, loads of mushrooms. I can't even see how much we've got. It's got so much bread as well. It's got fried bread, it's got toast, and it's got bread with butter on it as well. This looks absolutely amazing. It looks, smells so good. All the stuff looks really well done. So I'm just really excited to get into it. I think I have, I don't even know how long I have. I think I have like 40 minutes to do it. I'm really hoping to do a quick time and defeat this undefeated breakfast challenge. Let's get to it. I think we're ready. So give me a countdown. In five. I don't even know what to start with. Three, two, one. All right, clusters first. Definitely following on the tradition of beard meats food and going for the sausages there. Ooh, and mushrooms as well. Uh, unlike beard meats food, I actually like mushrooms. Mm. They're really nice and warm. Oh, you can see the steam coming off that. Yeah, no you can't. But I hope you've actually seen that the quality of my videos have improved. I've got a new camera and I'm trying to get a lot better at editing as well. So do give me any feedback you have. I always love to hear if you like the editing and the angles and all that. I'm gonna make some egg sandwiches. Oh, these eggs look really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, so runny. Oh yeah, definitely got some runny oak action there. Ah, oh, these, these were so good. What about you guys? Are you team runny oaks? And what type of eggs is your favorite? Mine is probably poached. Some bacon sandwiches, I think, with the bread. Oh. You got steam coming up of that. Yeah, it's still pretty hot. I always love to put together an epic sandwich for a breakfast challenge like this. When in doubt, make a sandwich. That's right. I'm using actual proper tomatoes instead of tin tomatoes. So much better. It's really, really nice. Mm. You know I think it's really good when I give a dorky thumbs up, but these grilled tomatoes were really good. You could tell these were really fresh and they were grilled on the same rack as the bacon, so just oh, added to the flavour. A bit of the beans. Mm. Shut up and sit down. Beans are good, I love beans. Oh, controversial there. I know American viewers do not understand beans on breakfast. Well, I really like black pudding, so let's gonna see how the black pudding gets on. <clears throat> Try it with some toast. <gasps> We've got a dog here. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're the cutest. <laughs> Yeah, this was the owner Ben's dog. He was so sweet. He just sat there very attentively. I did feel really bad as I munched my way through this epic breakfast, knowing that he wasn't going to get any scraps. Just do a couple more eggs. Make another sandwich. Egg sandwich. Mm. Yeah, who else makes epic breakfast sandwiches from their fry-ups? I think it really helps to use up the bread and usually get such a huge amount of bread in these types of challenges. It's kind of going everywhere. You can say that again. Yeah, clean up your filthy animal. You know me, team clean eats over here. But I do really like to have all the different food items together. I know some competitive eaters just eat one single food item and then the next one. And I kind of don't really get that. Fried bread is so good. Looking very good. Just past five minutes, 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Keeping a solid pace. Get that crunch. Mm. That is a good crunch. We can't be tempted with it. <laughs> no, it's amazing. And this is the part in the show where I ask, how long do you think it's gonna take me to finish it? But just look at that black pudding. Those were pretty much double the size of any other black pudding I've ever had in a challenge before. And they were grilled so well, crunchy on the outside, lovely and soft on the inside. Mm. 
So much butter on the bread. I'm not used to butter on the bread. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna sound like a bit of a psychopath here. I don't really like butter on my bread. It kind of detracts from the flavor of the bread. The dog is now licking his lips. Don't worry guys, I was totally fine with him being there. It was kind of like having a little bit of a fan just kind of watching over you. These black puddings are so good. They are like twice the size of a usual black pudding, I'd say. Not really. They look enormous. Mm -hmm. These black puddings were huge. Now, are you team black pudding or even white pudding or just none of the above? And um, wait for it. Uh, even for me, that was so satisfying and I don't really even like ASMR type videos. So good. That fried bread and black pudding combo was to die for. And nine minutes in. God, that is looking like a pretty clean platter at the moment. You're pretty close. Let me see if I can do a count here. It looks like three black pudding left, four hash browns. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call it two and a bit of toast, three rashes of bacon, four bangers, bit of beans. Bit of beans, Laura. That's like half a tin there. But no, I just, I definitely felt like I had at this point and kind of started to slow down a bit. Washes down well with tea. <laughs> I would never usually opt for tea with a challenge like this, but I think it was mandatory and it actually went down pretty well with it. And then got a hash brown, bacon, black pudding combo. It looks really good. All of it looks pretty quality. Really, really yeah. good. And really thick. So well cooked, really crispy. 11 minutes so far. It's amazing. You might be able to do 15, maybe less. That'd be crazy. A lot of food for that short amount of time. I like the tray. It's kind of like what you bring up when you have a um, like a breakfast. You know, when you bring your mum up with some breakfast. What the hell am I on about? Nah, I'm joking. You know when like it was like Mother's Day and you'd be up a tray and you'd be like shaking it all about and everything would go everywhere up the stairs. Yeah, this tray reminded me of that for some reason. No idea why. Absolutely huge tray though. Definitely very fitting for this epic Fullingish breakfast food challenge. Oh, mushroom. Then you like mushroom, but whole mushrooms like this cooked really well. Mm -hmm. Last black pudding, last tomato. What do I make? Tomato. What do I make? <laughs> the fried bread. The fried bread again, so thick. It looks make, so nice. I mean, it's supposed to be seven, but it's like fourteen. How thick? Like, <laughs> yeah. I have the size of your face. It's a. Uh, 1420 now. I'm just waiting. I mean, I feel like you're just enjoying it at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really was. I was really savoring the black pudding, the fried bread, the sausages, the bacon, but oh, maybe I should have been a bit quicker. <laughs> Look, even he was getting bored by this point. He knew there was going to be no scraps whatsoever. And with that guys, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you all so much for tuning in for another Max vs Food adventure. And hey, another victory over an undefeated, now defeated food challenge. And guys, I've got quite a big question here. I have quite a lot of British eating meat contest videos which are ready to be published. Should I publish them on Sunday as my usual upload or should I increase my uploads to two times a week and have them on a Thursday? Let me know in the comments down below. Absolutely fantastic. 1722, well Ooh, done. Ooh, that was cool. Yeah, great. Master. That was absolutely delicious. Like, I kind of wanted to rush at the start a little bit, but it was all really tasty. I kind of slowed down at the end just to enjoy it. It was so good. Really, really nice. Everything was so, so fresh. Really, really warm. Black puddings were amazing, huge. I really like the fried bread as well. The fried bread was so crispy. The bacon was really nice and salty as well. Hash browns, don't usually like hash browns at all, but these were really nice, really crispy. You could actually taste the potato in them. 
all around amazing. So yeah, get yourself down to Hotspot Burger and Grill. And what was it? And have yourself- Give your taste buds a thrill. And give your taste buds a thrill. I love it. But yeah, he has loads of different challenges, loads of different burgers. He has a wings challenge as well. Um, so yeah, get yourself down here because this stuff is absolutely amazing. And yeah, first to defeat uh, the, the breakfast challenge. So yeah, all right. Thanks guys. Peace out. Bye. Oh, well done, babe. Oh, right. killed it. That was great. That was delicious. Wow. I, I thought it would take a bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. It ripped. Like, I haven't had a breakfast that good in a long time, mate. Like, that's oh, really good. Really good. It looked incredible. I am back at the Hotspot Burger and Grill in New Haven in South of England? I don't know, in Sussex maybe. You just need to do the countdown. Indeed. Brilliant.